so the orcas wait until they head back to the beach, where the shallow water cramps the bird's style. In the sea, bigger isn't always better. Surprisingly, some of the largest ocean creatures aren't dangerous at all. The blue whale is the largest animal on the planet, weighing as much as 33 elephants, and all it eats is krill. It's like eating a one centimeter piece of pizza. And the whale shark, despite its menacing name and 40 foot long length, eats only plankton and small fish. So what does it take to be at the top of the food chain? Hello, and welcome back to Nature is Phenomenal. And in today's video, we'll be talking about the orca and why they are called killer whales. Sit back and enjoy today's video as we reveal some interesting facts about this deadly creature. Before we begin with today's video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn on the bell for the latest notifications to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. Sorted? Let's get on with the video. When you think of top ocean predators, you probably think of sharks. That's wrong. The true ruler of the sea is in fact the killer whale. Surprisingly, they are not whales, but dolphins. It's hard to believe that a cute animal like a dolphin is ruling the ocean. Killer whales are apex predators, meaning that they have no natural predators. They also hunt in packs much like wolves, who surprisingly are also at the top of the food chain. Most often, killer whales feed predominantly on salmon, but occasionally we spot transient orcas which feed on everything from fish to seals to sharks to even other whales. If you have any doubts about the killer whale's apex status, wildlife watchers off the coast of California witnessed an orca attacking a great white shark, with the orca winning hands down. Interactions between the two pretty much do not end well for the shark. The first interaction between an orca and the great white was documented in 1997. Two orcas killed a great white and ate its liver. Removing the liver and leaving the rest of the body is quite common for orcas. In 2017, five great white sharks washed ashore on the coast of South Africa. The livers had been removed with incredible precision, and orcas could have been the likely culprits. Now orcas are quite intelligent and work in groups when hunting. Their very presence, even though it can be brief, can have a huge impact on the surrounding ecosystem. When the great white sharks flee and do not hunt in an area for over a year, the numbers of their prey do not decline as it normally would. This affects other areas of the ecosystem in turn. It seems that orcas can be considered the true apex predators of the ocean. So that there are always whales keeping the school together. So why are orcas called killer whales when they are dolphins? Dolphins and whales are closely related. Orcas were given the name killer whale by ancient sailors' observations of groups of orcas hunting and preying on larger whale species. They called orcas assassina balenas, or whale killers, a term that was eventually flipped around to the easier killer whale. Their Latin name Orsinus orca also reflects this observation of orcas feeding on large whales. Orsinus translates to of the kingdom of the dead, and orca refers to a kind of whale. We know that orcas are top predators, yes, but not the vicious whale killers that the ancient mariners thought them to be. If you could give orcas another name, what would you call them? Killer whales look cute and have a friendlier image than great white sharks. And no, Orcas do not prey on humans like the Great White. The orca can smell a single drop of blood in a million drops of water. They can detect movement from as far away as 820 feet. And with their streamlined bodies and razor-sharp teeth, they are as scary as they can get. But don't worry, they don't feed on humans. And most attacks on humans aren't fatal anyway. Great Whites prefer to gobble up sea lions, seals, and small-toothed whales, sea turtles, seabirds, and even the rotting flesh of dead animals. They are also fast and can reach speeds of up to 43 miles, which allow them to surprise their prey and subdue them with a single bite. Great whites can also leave the water completely and attack prey from underneath as well. 
With that in mind, what threats do orcas face? Orcas worldwide face a number of threats. They get caught in fishing nets and gear accidentally and face problems with toxic waste and pollution in the sea. Increase in boat traffic can result in collisions with orcas and an increase in underwater pollution. In some regions, Greenland, Japan, Indonesia, and some Caribbean islands, they are still victims of whaling efforts. Historically, populations in the Pacific Northwest and North Atlantic were targeted for live captures to be solved in oceanariums like SeaWorld. The southern residents were extensively targeted and still struggled to recover. They have never come close to regaining their pre-capture population numbers. Orcas in the Pacific waters off Russia are still captured and sold into captivity. With that, we wrap up our video. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos in the future. Thanks for watching. See you soon.